Hey, I'm Mike with Hanson Fitness for Golf, and today I'm going to bring you a five-minute warm-up that you can do either on the range, in the parking lot, before you leave home, or you can do it right before you're teeing off on the first tee. I think it's really important to have the number one piece of equipment, that being your body, ready and stretched out and warmed up and be in tune with it before you start to play or practice. I have clients that come to me and they say, I can't understand how I can shoot an 80 one day, the same course I go play the next day and I shoot 95. And my belief as being a golf specific fitness coach is that it could be the way your body is, is that day. It could be tight and you're not swinging. You have that millisecond to get the club back to the ball and hit it on the right spot. So it could be, it, there's a lot of different factors, but I think if you are in tune with your body before you start to play, you're gonna play a ton better and a lot more consistent. Okay, so the concept of getting warmed up or getting in tune with your body before you play is just to get the big joints moving in the way they're going to move the rest of the day. So the first part, we're just going to take a, a small, a short iron. You can use um, anything that's just, it's just stable, so it's not going to bend more like your driver. So the first thing we're going to do is get your lower body moving. So you're going to hold on with your right hand, and you're going to take your right foot in the air, so you always want to replace the leg that's in the air, and you're just going to swing your hip from side, or your foot, from side to side. That's just going to get the hip warmed up. So on this one, you want to take your toe and point it in and then toe out. So you're going to go toe in, toe out, using the club for balance. If you need a little bit more stability and not a club, you can use a golf cart for this as well. And then once you've done 10 to 15 each side, you're just going to switch over and go the opposite way with the other foot. So that's getting the hip and glutes a little bit warmed up, especially the leg that's standing. That one's getting that one's getting worked as well. And then once you've done those, you're just going to swing the foot back and forth. So you're just going to go back and forth this way, anywhere between 10 to 15. There's no right or wrong number. You want to you want to do them about 10 to 15 on each side. So those are really good for the lower body to get the lower body warmed up and moving. And then we'll do the upper body with the driver next. All right, so now let's get the upper body and shoulders warmed up. So we're gonna take the driver, and the reason we're using the driver is because it's the longest club, and the wider your hands go, the more range of motion you can get. So we're gonna use the driver. If you have a little bit more range of motion in your shoulders, you can choke up or use a shorter club, but for this, we're gonna go out as far as we can, and then arms straight. So you wanna make sure your arms are straight, and you're gonna go up and back. If you can only go if you go, the main thing is you keep your arms straight, but if you can only go to here, then that's all you need to go to. Um, if you gotta go like this, try not to arch your back or, or lean back. All you're gonna do is try and get to here, and then once you get there, you're just gonna push out onto the, the club and just get, create some resistance so your shoulders are getting stretched out. So you're just gonna come up, keeping the arms straight and even, and then back as far as you can go, just like that. And once you've done that, about 30 seconds, you're just gonna pull one arm and keep the other arm straight. So try not to lean just yet, but we're just kinda trying to get the shoulders, blood flow to the shoulders and warmed up. So that's, so we're gonna go driver, straight back, hold it for about 30 seconds. Once you've done that, and then you're just gonna pull it over this way for about 30 seconds, and then back this way for about 30 seconds. Okay, now we've got the hips and the glutes warmed up a little bit, blood flowing to them, and the shoulders. Now we're gonna add in some rotation. So we're gonna take the driver again. This time you don't have to go all the way out to the side. You're gonna hold it here. You're gonna get into about a driver posture. So you want a, a forward bend. And make sure you're bending from your hip joint and not like this. So we're gonna go here, forward, and then you're gonna rotate, pushing yourself up on to the opposite foot. 
So if I'm rotating left, I'm going to pick up my right foot. If I'm rotating to the right, I'm going to pick up my left foot. So just make sure you're getting a good weight shift and you're rotating side to side and as much shoulder turn as you can get. Just like that. I'm going to do 10 to 12 of those to each side. And then once you've done that, now we're going to plant the lower body. So really good um, push. You're going to actually feel some tension on the insides of your thighs. And you're going to turn and try not to move your lower body this time. So we're just going to turn and get your shoulders, upper back moving as little of motion in your lower body as you can. And we're going to do 10 to 12 of those as well. Okay, moving right along. Now I've grabbed my eight iron or a smaller iron. And what you're going to do here is we're going to get the lower body moving now. So we've got the upper body rotating, so now we're going to get the lower body. So again, you're going to replace the leg that comes in the air. So you're going to pick up your right foot, put the, the club on your right side, and then you're going to keep your left just a, a, a soft, a soft, a soft stiff. So you're going to keep it a, just a soft bend in your left knee, and then you're going to rotate this hip as far around your left side as you can, trying to keep your shoulders pretty square. So you're going to turn. You're turning into that left hip just like you would if you're a right-handed golfer on your follow-through. And then same thing here. We're going to switch sides. 10 to 15 of those. Again, there is no magic number. Anywhere between a little bit more than 10, not as many as 20. So you're going to turn this way. Same thing. Soft, soft right knee here. And then we're going to turn, turn your hip as far as you can this way keeping the shoulders square. That's going to get those hips, what's called internal rotation. That's what they're going to be doing all day when you're swinging the club. So you want to make sure that those are, are warmed up, loose, and ready to go. All right, so we're almost there. We got last thing. We're going to take the driver again. And if you're on the first tee, do this five to ten times and you're ready to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn it over. You're going to grab up by the, the club head and then you're going to just set up like you normally would and you're going to swing the shaft. So we're going to swing the shaft to the to the right and then bring it back again. So you want to try and swing it as hard as you can and as fast as you can and just to get that speed built up in your body and and then we're also going to do the other side. So you're going to switch your grip, put left hand low, take it back and swing it. So you want to get those hands moving pretty fast. Don't walk up to the first tee right after taking 10 swings to each side. Make sure you take some practice swings the correct way. And then doing that warm up, you're going to be good to go. All right, so you thought I was done, but I wasn't. I have one more bonus stretch that you can do at any point. I suggest doing it around the sixth hole, maybe at the turn, and then again around 13 or 14 because I think this is the golfer's greatest stretch. So you can sit in the cart or on a bench, and take a short iron, or if you have tightness in your shoulders and you can't get your hands back, take a longer iron or, or a driver, but just don't bend it over your, over your shoulders. So what we're going to do here is you're going to keep your knees together, you're going to turn as far as you can to the right, and then you're going to drop your right shoulder, come back up, take a deep breath. This is important, so you're going to go let it out, turn again, drop your right shoulder as far as you can, bring it up, deep breath, turn again, and then bring it down. So three times, and then you're going to turn to the left, drop your left shoulder, deep breath, let it out, turn, and then you got the idea, and you can see how much mobility I've gained and that thoracic rotation is really important so throw that in maybe before you start after the the original warm-up and then try it throughout your round and I think it's gonna definitely help your shoulder turn all right so there you have it easy simple five minute warm-up with a little bonus stretch at the end I don't think it has to be real complicated before you warm up but I do think you have to do something so just to, oh, to recap what we did is we did the, the hips. So we're getting the hips and glutes warmed up just a little bit. We're going front and back, side to side with both sides. And then we got the shoulders. So we're taking the driver and we're going up straight arms as far back as you can. And then 
then we do the, the shoulder turn to get some rotation involved, and then we do the hip turn to get the hip involved. It's that simple, guys. It's just four things, just getting rotation, making sure that your body is, is blood flow. You could do a big, long, winded warm up, but I don't think you need to. I just think you need to do something. I do believe that this is probably, if you have five minutes, don't go to the range for five minutes. Do this thing for five minutes, and, and it, it's definitely going to help your game. So let me know, because I've seen, I've had clients try this and do it, and they play better. So in the comments below, let me know if you've played better. If you've played worse, I'd like to know that as well, so I can do some research and, and switch it up a little bit. But I'm a firm believer that if you can stretch out, get warmed up just a little bit before you play, it's going to make a huge difference in your practice too. So you can do practice as well. But try this and let me know how it goes.